you know what's always very striking about inventure is that it speaks with multiple voices but sings like you know but it's like a concert it's a symphony and the symphony has just become perhaps uh, many more instruments in it uh, many different tonal qualities to it but it's still a magnificent symphony and it must always remain that mind-boggling astounding it's just fascinating it was beautiful in a world with so much noise the music stays with you change is the only constant i like inventure for the way they push the envelope and the one thing that's really going to get us to this brave new world is tackling change and i think inventure does that year after year just love it dedicated perseverance and inspiring my first reaction was disbelief and total admiration i was just wowed she is on she taught us to love ourselves we told her things that no one knew we put our happiness on the line for her she was our friend i think one message that you need to take back is that you know you have the power to make a difference and i think so many times we look around and we complain about traffic we complain about pollution we complain about everything else but we're waiting for someone else to make that change and i think it needs to start from one person from in from yourself you can't look for others you need to make that difference yourself i think today's kids don't need advice today's kids probably can teach you something but at the same time what i would say is to the kids be good and always be yourself my words have the power to change the tide my will a thick fierce current i choose my direction consciously and now all my stories will be written by me because nothing, nothing ever changes in sassy modita what was most heartening to see is so much of it was done in house so much of it was done by them it's just everybody has a lot of talent how do you harness that talent you know i came with very low expectations of a small school performance and i'm going away with something that was very professionally felt it was very professionally put together i think so much of uh, learning comes from other than whatever you're supposed to do you know whether it's work or school or college it doesn't matter what the real learning comes from the socialization on uh, having an idea and working on it together and seeing it through so i think uh, all the extra curricular activities as we call it are just as important if not more than what you study frankly you can download anything online and study why does any, anyone need to go to school at all but it's the socialization it's the teamwork it's that camaraderie it's that we are all in it together is what truly gives education students from the big schools the big school they also wants to do something for our society the main thing is we need to motivate them it was amazing i really loved to see their performance i'm a creature a mad concoction of mutations a free wheeling body of athletic capabilities and some ordinary when you come together with the right energies amazing things can happen and if you're in that auditorium and you can see how those kids say those lines impeccably line after line you get those goosebumps that tells you that there's so much more to look forward to and that's what i'm taking home i was very happy to see the way you know um things have been put up by teenagers i was taken back to my teenage wherein the struggle i had to come out of the struggle well beyond my 30s what is most inspiring is that they are also turning towards citizenship you know the feeling that they're part of a society and they need to give it give back to the society i think that also came very strongly through and it's fantastic real issues of our times issues that are not just only issues for children but are issues for all people and they really unpacked it teased it made fun of it danced to it but made us all look at ourselves again so i think that's one of the big things about the show it was not just a show for children 
was also a show for adults. I've been working um, with Whitefield Rising, doing CSR for the last four years. And what I've found is, um, you know, there are several times when you have a lot of self-doubt. You, you, you really wonder whether you're doing the right thing, whether, uh, you know, you can really move the government and get your projects done. And, um, you know, the, the show really showed me that, you know, you should continue to kind of persevere and, and, and you know, things will work out. The change will happen. These guys are just amazing to, you know, to have the, the honor and, and the privilege, really, to watch these kids grow. I, I, and I've seen some of them. Anika, you've seen her in the show. I've seen her grow from, from grade 1 to grade 12 now, you know. And to be a part of their lives, each one of them, to see these kids grow up, uh, it, it's just, I mean, it's an indescribable feeling. You my winning. It's like 25 the lives that you bust out of prison. Something's in the air. Something's in the air. For me, what's really humbling is the process of making this happen. We started way back in the summer vacation where we started ideating on the script. And we really want to give children a platform to speak and for us to hear their voices, their perspectives, their thoughts, their aspirations, their concerns. The key thing really is it gives you so much hope. Because frankly, if the next generation is obsessed about change, chances are it will happen. So I, I really think it's very hopeful that children are talking about this and the music. It was beautiful. What's the one message I want to leave for the kids today? I think I'm going to say it's very important to continue doing what you're doing right now. And unlike, unlike most schools that don't have a production, the reason we believe in this one is because we believe in the kids is because we believe when we put these kids together, there is this magic that comes out of it. So continue to believe in what you're doing, and whenever you get the opportunity to exercise that magic, please do. They inspire me to be a bit better than I was yesterday, or one year ago, or two years ago. So, thank you.